Well, I hope your weekend is going well so far. I'm meteorologist Matt Gray here in the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. And we have ended up with a pretty beautiful start to the weekend. You know, it was a little dreary on Friday, but the clouds and the rain moved out, at least for now. And things are looking pretty, pretty good. Now, we still have a chance for a couple of isolated showers as we go through Sunday. And I'll show you where we have the best chance of seeing those. It's good news for most people. We don't want any rain on the weekend. We can save it to the week, right? We have some really nice temperatures as well. In fact, we're waving goodbye to the 80s, it looks like, for highs for a long time now. Much cooler week ahead. I mean much cooler. we got some frosty nights even in our future, most likely. And then more rain in the forecast for next weekend. We're saying this a whole week in advance. So let me tell you, some pretty strong signals coming out of the forecast models. Yesterday, great news because of how bad our drought is around here. We got 0.17 inches in the Spokane area for rainfall. That's the most since June 15th in a single day. So let's keep it coming. And it looks like next weekend we're going to have another chance to pick up some good rain all around the area. There is another system coming through overnight tonight, but it really isn't expected to do all that much. Just a couple of showers in the mountains near the U.S.-Canada border. As we head into the afternoon, expect partly to mostly cloudy skies as we get into lunchtime. And we'll see a couple little showers develop. So places like Colville, Medellin Falls, Bonners Ferry, Sandpoint couple of little showers are possible for you. I'm not expecting it to be a whole lot to be going on. We're talking some pretty isolated coverage here. So really our rain chances basically north of the Spokane River and the Columbia River is about 20%. Everywhere south on the plains, in the Palouse, etc. We're talking about mm, less than 10%. So yeah, things going to be pretty quiet tomorrow, but we will be watching those one or two showers as they swing on by. Otherwise, everything looks really pretty nice for uh, any activities you have. On Sunday, a little cloudy to start, but we'll see the clouds clear out as we head into the afternoon and pretty nice temperatures. We'll wake up in the low 50s, a few upper 40s out there, mid 60s, middle upper 60s by lunchtime, mid 70s for the afternoon. That is about as good as it gets. We'll see, be, uh, see temperatures in the 80s in Lewiston, low 70s, Bonners Ferry and Sandpoint, low 80s as well for Menachee and OMAC as well as Grant County. So things looking really, really nice for Sunday, and this is going to be one of the warmer days we have this week. Yeah, big change coming up here to a cool down. Look at this. So we kind of stay at about the same range through Tuesday, and then cooler air really starts to shift in. Highs only in the 60s, lows dropping into the 40s. For those of you in some of the valleys north of Spokane, you know that that means frost is likely for you as we go into Wednesday and into Thursday and then Friday. Here comes the next storm system Friday into Saturday. In fact, possibly for all of Saturday. Still got to keep an eye on how things kind of develop here. You know that that far out things can definitely change. But certainly something to keep an eye on. If you are making plans for next weekend, you should probably plan for some rain to be around. We'll keep you updated as we go through the rest of the weekend. In the meantime, have a good one.